you do realize that no fraud will come to you and tell you that they are fraud. No scammer will come to you and tell you, hey, I'm a scammer. They will be smiling and explaining things and trying to convince you while sketching plans. In fact, while luring you into their plans to take your money. And that is why I have started to start to start this war. <laughs> That's why I started to expose and tell people about how these people scam you, scam your money, take your money in the name of trying to help you migrate, in the name of trying to help you relocate. And in this video, I'm going to tell you one of the tricks of these scammers. I've made a, a different video. It is down here. I'm going to leave the link up, up here. So you can just click on it and watch it and i'm also going to tell you my own story also check the next video because i'm going to tell you how to actually bypass these scammers so what it means is that even if you eventually find yourself in the nest of scammers there is a way out there is a way to escape and you won't lose much so just keep up i'm going to tell you all this is but hi everyone my name is queen dalina niako and if you're seeing me for the first time in this channel i'll talk about migration relocation lifestyle and a lot more if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please click on that subscribe button and to my returning subscribers thank you very much also remember to put on the notification bell that way you'll be able to get notifications each time new videos can up now let's go to it so first of all i'm going to tell you how to identify the scammers one thing you should know is that you should always trust your instinct now if you have a problem like me who always trust people like i trust people a lot i like to give them benefit of doubt then <laughs> you might also want to watch this video really well there are actually companies who will ask you to pay or to be to reimburse them the money or the fund used in the process of getting you to the uk or getting you abroad there is no doubt some will tell you you have to pay before cos some will say after cos but you should know that you are not supposed to pay for cos i am going to expose some of the ways these scammers come to you some of the ways these scammers approach you it deep into your soul your trust and then you give them your money and when you realize you are scammed you start looking stupid like i do feel stupid it's not because you're not smart don't worry they're actually smart as well no dumb person will scam someone just know that and sometimes they know the immigration processes they know all the processes and they, they will be able to convince you with all these processes so don't beat yourself it is not your fault okay however there are ways you can recover this your money that is what i'm going to make in the next video so make sure to follow us we know about people who create links who create groups on telegram on whatsapp and so many other platforms to give you info give you names of organizations and tell you a lot more about recruitment and jobs available they this most of these people in fact some of them actually started this with a genuine intention with a genuine mind to help you okay they they, they go and get this job site and all that and they send to you on the other hand these scammers as well they take the same process of creating groups creating platforms adding you there some even go as far as telling you to pay of course when someone tell you to pay to join a group it looks real right good this is one of the ways it doesn't mean that everyone who asks you to pay is a scammer no like people ask you to pay to join their group I'm not saying they are all scammers but I'm telling you most of these scammers will ask you to pay to join their group why will I have to pay to join a group they tell you that when you pay they give you VIP treatment they give you first class information on jobs available and jobs that you can apply and how to go about it so we tell you to pay for them to vet your CV even the UK's list of licensed sponsors you can only get it on gov.uk which is official 
alleged but these people have compromised this process now normally you should be able to go to gov.uk see the name of licensed sponsors and then search them go to their website and apply follow the application process and apply right what these people do is they themselves go to the same list because this list is open to all of us they go to the same list get the name of companies that are recruiting the companies that are licensed to recruit then what they do is they open emails similar to this company name of course you know it is not hard to buy a domain name they only have to give a small twist that you won't even notice like something like putting s putting dots they can just a little twist and then they probably have the same domain and then what they do is they send you the link and they say apply of course when you see the email they sent to you and of course you are in a group and they have asked you to forward your cv and before i even ask you to forward your cv they must have vetted your cv for you right so these people open the group you enter the group they vet your cvs and then they send you a link to apply maybe an email for you to forward your cvs to they don't always give you just the name of the companies most times they send you an email to forward your applications and then you forward the applications and then you will get a reply telling you that um you have been selected to do an interview blah 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 and then you are so excited and then the next thing is they give you an interview date they interview you of course with the zoom or with the team you don't know where they are because when i'm doing an interview or when you are doing an online interview they don't show you the name of the building right they do an interview and then they tell you that you are successful but you have to pay for them to be able and anytime you start they start talking about payments here is one this is how to identify the real scammers when they want to talk about payments they don't send chats and they don't send emails right get these two things most times they talk to you on phone most times it's facetime most times they rarely drop messages and even if they do they don't discuss every details and then they're going to tell you that you have to pay for the cos and you also have to pay for the there's another payment forgotten i'm going to put it on the screen you're going to pay for that and then you are happy you've got a job this looks legit right but the truth is sometimes they are just out there if you are scammed through this way you won't think you, i don't think you blame yourself that you are not smart they actually are smart at you that's the point so how do you by court all these people first of all when you, they send you this link this is what you should do take the name in that email go to your browser we all have phones we all carry big phones these phones are not just for pictures these phones can be very useful to you take the name go to your browser search for the name of this company when you find the name of the company go to the company look at the process of application and apply go and apply using the process of application on the website if they say send your email send an email then you send that email using the email you will get from the website the thing is when they send you these links and you go to your browser and you see it it all looks legit but don't use their own link even if you want to send that email go to the original website copy it copy the email send your application that way you'll be able to avoid scammers this way looks legit and i know a lot of people like i'm currently in a group where people are struggling to get their money back and this is a laid down plan they have been using and sometimes what they do these people actually have link they get one or two persons a job and they keep using this one or two persons probably that we are lucky to get the job they keep using them they keep using them to lure you into believing them 
it is not real sometimes so while you are trying to get a job look for a job you are not greedy you are, it is not your fault but just know that most of these things you can do them yourself okay you can do them yourselves all these videos you see on youtube instagram telling you companies that are recruiting come most of them don't have a direct link to the companies even the one i post yes there's no direct link you have to go to the list of the sponsors companies go to the website make research sometimes call before you're able to get a lead on if they are recruiting or not and if they can do it and post why can't you do it we are all looking for an easy way out right getting a job is not easy but we have to be really careful all right hope this is actually helpful and another thing you should know is most of these people they are rude how do you want to take someone's money and you are very rude they make themselves unapproachable that when you are asking so much question you feel like you're stupid you are not that is the way they are working they are trying to use your sense and also when you enter this group you see a lot of people in fact there was one i entered i was like this person cannot scam, scam up to 1000 people but guess what he actually scammed more than 200 people <laughs> so my dears you have to be really careful while looking for these jobs and when you are making payments i'm going to tell you how to do that check my next video and please remember to subscribe and stay tuned bye